Heat are back in action tonight, Leroy. I'm so happy. Yep. Happy on Heat game days. It's been too long. I feel like I need to be uh, to be cleansed from a from a dirty, dirty weekend. Well, a dirty weekend of of no defense and losing to the Knicks. I need to I need to wipe that away from my memory. You know what makes it worse for me? Take a little look at the scores of the Knicks and the Nets from last night. Yeah. All right, let me take a look. Well, the, the Knicks got whooped by the no, Bucks. No, no. Uh, let me, let me like, take a look. Hold on. Let me see. I got NBA. Giannis had like 40 points in 12 minutes. All right. The Brooklyn Nets yesterday lost to the Utah Jazz 118-107 to in Kyrie Irving's second game back. He had 32 points, 5 rebounds, 11 assists. But, of course, when you have Kyrie Irving playing basketball, Nobody else makes you guys worse. So, uh, they lost. And then the Knicks lost – 128 to 102 to the Milwaukee Bucks in Milwaukee. Woo. Giannis had like what, 34 points in 19 he minutes? He had 37 points, nine rebounds, four assists. In 20 minutes. Like in 20 was, minutes. Oh my God. Right. Right. Oh my God. Right. That that's who you lost oh to. Oh my God. That's who you lost to. He played 21 minutes? Yes. And he wasn't even the best. Uh who else? There was another player. Hold on, let me think. There was another play. Oh, Kawhi. Kawhi had 37 and in, 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 in just about the Kawhi same time. Kawhi had 43 points in 29 minutes. 29 minutes. <laughs> what? <laughs> right. Do we have that? No, we don't we, have that. We have if a guy gets hot from three, right? Yeah. So if Dunks it, or Tyler if Hero, Dunks and Tyler do something crazy, right, right. But we don't have that guy. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't quite have that yet. Especially, I think I was reading on Heat Reddit. I think I think Jimmy Butler hasn't made a three since December twentieth. So it's been a while. It's been a while. Um, however, speaking of Giannis, <laughs> oh come on! Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I like. Let, can I just say something? Sure. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm, all right. I'm not. I'm shooting. just delivering. No, you're, what's out in these waters? That's not accurate. It is true. That's not. It accurate. is true. Like you're, 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 you know, who you sound like right now. Hmm. You sound like one of those reporters say, "I had to ask the question." No. Yes, you do. No. Nope. I. It, so you're saying you have to report this information, and it's not going to have a. Tobin slant. I don't like to say report. I like to say relay the message. So you remember about a week's time ago, uh, Brian Windhorst was on the jump. And the fact minus one for even all of a sudden being friends with Brian Windhorst. I'm not friends. He's not friends. He's a Hall of Famer. Okay, okay. But I'm not friends. I'm just relaying the message. Sure. He said a week ago that the Heat are the most dangerous team that can make a trade. That was his words. Very ominous. He was like, I think the Heat are the most dangerous team that can make a trade. I was like, whoa. Whoa. I don't think that was whoa worthy. Interesting. Because he said a whole lot of nothing in that comment. Then yesterday, I told you at the end of the show, Wendy comes out and he drops himself a little heat piece talking about the rise of Pat Riley, like a phoenix, that he has himself a chance to, to build another super team. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Now, Windhorse yesterday, this was on Sirius XM. He goes on NBA radio, mm-hmm. and he says this. What Pat Riley said and what he believes, and, and, and he's right, is that, you know, you can spend all this time looking at the trade machine. You can spend all this time uh, evaluating free agency and cap space and all this stuff. What you really need in the NBA is for a player to say, I want to play for your team. Figure it out. We saw... Kawhi Leonard come and tell the the LA Clippers, go get go get Paul George and figure it out, and then I'll come play for you. And they did. And if you're fortunate enough to be a type of franchise that can do that, you have you have clout and ability in this day and age of the NBA. And Pat Riley, even at 75 years old, was on the cutting edge. And I believe that they are dangerous going forward. They've got two All Stars now. Bam Adebayo is an All Star. Watch out over the next 12 to 18 months is he might try to build one last super team there in Miami. Woo! 
What are you doing? This is not. Now listen. This is not Gloria Estefan hold on, worthy. Hold on. Hold this on. This is not sound right, machine me, worthy. Okay. Hold on. It's not. Hold on, pickle pants. I got I got something to tickle your fancy a little bit more. All right. And then, ESPN NBA insider uh, and analyst Kendrick Perkins. Oh my God! Had this on Twitter. Yeah. I da, da, cannot believe da, da, that you are now. What? Kendrick Perkins was dropping bombs this summer. Kendrick Perkins. Kendrick. Ken, how do you feel about Perkins. Kendrick Perkins? Do you bad? My I didn't like him. Fight. I didn't like him. But now he likes him because he has. He, I, I think a, he's pretty good on television. I got to say, he's very entertaining. He's an enter, he's an entertaining individual. He talks without his beard moving. Listen, <laughs> you want to hear what he had to say? Sure. He comments. On the Windhorst soundbite and goes, Heat going after Giannis aggressively. It makes so much sense. <laughs> Leroy. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Everybody sees it. All of these things, they're seeing. LeBron to the Lakers, years ahead, everybody knew. Kawhi back to LA, years before everybody knew. Jimmy Butler to the Heat, years before everybody knew. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Red Crow, wait, 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 wait. Being laid. How about KD to the Nets? Oh, that, that one that one everybody thought was New York. <laughs> they got the state right. Yeah, yeah. They got the state right. City right. They got the, they got the, they got the city right. They just got the, t- the wrong team. You might as well, hey, you might as well, you might as well just call us Hansel and Gretel. You and me, Hansel and Gretel. Because we're just following the breadcrumbs, baby. Long, long. Which one's the girl? Gretel? Yeah. Okay. That's scary. What? Me with a wig? Hansel and Gretel. We can't think of who's the... I know the Hansel and Gretel movie. She's kind of hot. Now, the key to all this... Mm. Wait, what? The Hansel and Gretel movie. Gretel was hot? Yeah. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Um, now, the key to all this, this is this is the key, because it's all about relationships, Leroy. And as, as uh, Brian Windhorst, NBA insider, uh, who seemed to turn a new leaf, uh, has mentioned in his clip that he'd have oh two All-Stars. My goodness. One of them being Bam Adebayo, All-Star. Um, him, Giannis, same agent, working out in the summer. A little nice little relationship there, little ties. Wait, wait, wait. Didn't Giannis say he don't work out with folks from other teams? Because he ain't cool like that. Yeah, I know, I know. Did he not say that? I know. And you still falling for it. What? You, you, uh, can, can I ask you a question? Mm-hmm. This is an honest question. Sure. Because you seem like the type. How many products you have in your house of somebody calling you and convincing you that it's the best thing in the world? Uh, I don't know what you. Uh, I don't know. They, they they could get you. Me? Did they get you for like a window treatment or something like that? Nah. 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 Okay. Nah. All right, because it just seems like you think I you, you think are, I get had by the the door to door. It's not evident by how you're reacting to this. What do you mean reacting? I'm, reacting. I'm, I'm connecting dots. I'm connecting dots, and I have been for the longest time. I'm just out here on these seas, baby, harpooning it. Those aren't dots. Those are spots from seeing imaginary things. Look, tonight is a big night, and you want to know what's going to happen? Just, just so we're clear. Well, we only have three, three more weeks of what? Before when's the trade deadline? February sixth. Uh, it's right before the All Star game. It's, yeah, and then uh, surprisingly, Justice Winslow will be healthy by February seventh. Just saying. You think he's he's purposely doing that? Mm-hmm. What? Why the guy can't be hurt? Oh my goodness! Does every single situation have to be some kind of covert operation? No, no, no. Ira said it. He was on with Zazo. Said it was fishy. You just asked me, and I was like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. But what I do know, do you know is tonight is a big game at the at the American Airlines Arena. You want to know why? Why? Because it's a revenge game for our boy Bam. A revenge game against Greg Popovich, who cut his ass from Team America and said he ain't good enough. He ain't good enough. Said that. I'd rather have a Plumlee than Bam Adebayo. I'd rather have a Lopez than Bam Adebayo. I'd rather have Miles Turner than Bam Adebayo. Could it it be something? Said he wasn't ready yet. 
said he wasn't ready yet. Mind if I well, just who th- looks ready now? Can, who looks ready now? <laughs> Mind if I throw a little piece Who'd of you reality rather out have, there? A Plumley or Bam? Would you like to hear the reality behind that? No. I, what I, I would I, think, I, I know as, 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 as an unbiased guy, you, you, you know, want to know what I thought you, you, about? Want to know, know what I thought? Go ahead. I thought, oh, he probably wants, wants more of a traditional center than a wing guy. Oh, uh, is, is that's that what he it. thought? That's it. Yeah, what, more like more like more like Washed Popovich, Washedovich. They say this guy's got a great uh, eye for talent. More like R.C. Buford had a great eye for talent. Uh-oh. This dude is washed. You want to know something? How can, pa- how can Greg Popovich is skating by? All these years, everybody calling uh, Pat Riley, old man Riles, washed as hell. Nobody ever says that about Pop. Where is he without Tim Duncan? Now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden the Wait magic's a dried up. Oh, he didn't win a championship without Tim Duncan. No, of course not. Why would you win a championship without one of the best power forwards in, of all time? Because you had Kawhi. No, he didn't. He he ran Kawhi out of town. Ran him out. Yeah, they, they only had one with Kawhi. Ran him out. Um, and and he gets he gets put on notice tonight, Leroy. He gets put on notice because what he's going to see tonight when Bam's running all around that floor, what he's going to watch tonight is the game passing him by. The game passing him by. Really? Because he wanted to sit here. He wants to mid-range jump. He does. He's a bit of an old man, doddering, honestly. Because he goes out there and goes, oh, I hate the three-point shot. I hated us winning the title that way in 2014. Arr. Would you be, uh, what if they get their big man? Um, what's his name? Aldridge? Aldridge. What about him? How would you feel about having him? If the Heat had him? You know. I mean, the Heat could use some rebounding. Even they could he, use some rebounding. Even though he takes a lot of jump Here, shots. I hate to read this. Yeah. But I'm going to read it. Okay. Because it fits. Sure. Something that you would say. Giannis doesn't work out with players from other teams, but Bam doesn't count because he's going to be on his team. Correct. I already saw I saw on TMZ. I didn't read the story, but I saw the headline uh, of the the Bucks daughter, the Bucks owner's daughter, saying that Giannis ain't leaving because he's loyal. <laughs> um, did did Waiters go at it again? Oh yeah, we'll get to the Dion Waiters thing next.